We are going to go over how to use AI to create video for you, right? And this can be various different types of video. So let me let me start with why. Like, why learn video? Why is video specifically such an important skill? Well, there's there's a few reasons. I mean, a lot of people are predicting that the majority of online content will be video, right? It's already moving in that direction, that video is kind of the preferred medium. Um, you know, some people prefer text, some people prefer prefer audio, but the definitely the biggest part of the population prefers to consume information with video. So if you know video, you are very, very well positioned for right now and for the future. Now there are there are let's say there are two basic ways to take in information. There is visual visual and there is auditory, right? And some people tend to be visual learners, some people tend to be audio auditory learners. They say that there's also people that are kinesthetic that they learn more from touch. But I, I never really understood that. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because, I mean, you can learn what something feels like by touch, but you can't really, you, you can't learn like an abstract subject. Like I can't, I can't touch something and learn marketing unless like I, I know Braille maybe. But <laughs> for the most part, the way that we learn is either visual or auditory. And so there are different mediums that appeal to either one. So for a visual, for example, is reading. Like if I'm going to read a book or if I'm going to read a blog or a newsletter, right? Those are all visual ways of taking information. Auditory is sound. So if I listen to the radio, if I listen to a talk show, if I listen to a podcast, those are all auditory. Now, the really cool thing about video is that video covers both at the same time, right? You get to see the visual, you get to see whatever is in the video, plus you get to hear what is in the video. So if you want to, like if it, having both of them together is the best way to sell. I, I mean, uh, there's the only better way is if you're actually talking to someone in person and then you can, maybe you can even like shake their hand and you can touch them and then you get that kinesthetic element, but uh, besides that, video is the best thing going because you have that visual, you have that auditory, and it's scalable, right? You can make a video once and then 10,000 people can see it. So video is definitely where you want to be. And then it's, um, it's useful for a variety of different purposes. Specifically, what I'm going to go over in this lesson, it's useful for ads. Right, you see YouTube ads are pretty much 100% video. Facebook ads are moving towards video now. You see video ads on a whole bunch of other platforms like Twitter X is, is going towards video. There's other video platforms like Rumble that are getting popular. There, video ads are absolutely everywhere and they perform really, really well because it's engaging right? Because it engages both that visual and auditory at the same time. So ads are one use. Another is organic content, right? So if you want to learn something, like learn how to do something, or you want to just want to be entertained, you might go to YouTube, you might watch a video on X or on Facebook, right? It's uh, becoming, if you're good at video, you can do, a, there's a lot of organic options. And then finally is VSLs. V VSL stands for Video Sales Letters. So this is one of the best ways to sell online is you have a video that tells them about your product and about your methodology or how your product works and then tells them about the, the features and benefits and how they can buy. So if you wanna sell stuff, then uh, VSL works really, really well for that. And you might've noticed that a lot of my sales is either ads to VSL or it's ads to a live presentation like this one, right? And I'm I'm pretty much like the majority of it 
is video. Now, that's not to say that there isn't a place for audio and there isn't a place for for books and blogs and emails and that kind of stuff. I use that too. But uh, video is the best, <laughs> at least the best that, that exists right now. So I highly recommend learning it, if at all possible. So let's get into um, how to make AI videos. So generally, like I think when most people think of video, especially these days, they think of talking head videos. So you have your phone in front of you and you're talking to the camera and that's your video. Maybe you do some fancy editing on it. Maybe you add some B-roll, but that's kind of kind of like the, the baseline, at least in my mind, that's kind of the baseline that I start from. What I'm going to show you in this training is how to make videos where you don't have to record yourself at all. They're, they're just purely AI videos. Now, Something that I hear a lot from people because, you know, I teach YouTube ads and I help other people do YouTube ads and YouTube ads all video based. And a lot of times I hear people say, I'm not comfortable recording myself on video. And so the work, you don't have to do that if you do the AI method that I'm going to tell you. But I feel like I have to say this, if I'm not comfortable is your rationale behind making business decisions, you're probably not going to do very well. Just being honest with you, like in business, you do the thing that's the most effective, that's the, the fastest, that's the most scalable. It's not, oh, I'm not going to do this because I'm not comfortable. Like if you want to succeed in business, get it through your head that you have to do things that are not comfortable sometimes, right? So what I'm going to show you is, um, is something that is, it's not to get you around your fears because if you're if you're afraid to do this and you won't do it because you're afraid, then okay, I, I'll give you a workaround. But then you're going to run into something tomorrow that you're also going to be afraid of and you're not going to be able to do it. So like, you got to get over it, or else you're you're kind of going to get nowhere. But what I'm going to show you is effective, right? It works. It is fast, and I'm going to show you why that is, right? Because um, especially like. For me, I've I've started to get into this where it's like, okay, I can record a video. I've recorded lots of videos, but it takes a long time. Like it takes a lot of preparation. And then I have to, you know, get myself looking nice. And then I got to get the lighting set up and and et cetera, et cetera. And then I gotta say things and I gotta do multiple takes usually because I rarely get something right on the first take. And it, and then I got to go back and do editing. And so it's kind of a big time suck. So what I'm going to show you is faster. Um, it's also effective and it's scalable, right? Another thing too, is that if I'm going to record a video, I have to be there. If it's going to be a video of me talking, I have to be there. But if I can do AI videos, then I don't have to do it. I can pay somebody else to do it for me, right? I can just write up an SOP of here's how you create an AI video. I could even send them the recording of this session and say, hey, make me a video from this script, right? And that that reduces significantly the amount of time that I have to spend on it, which means that it's more scalable, right? I can I can just write the script, send it off to somebody else and they'll do all the rest. So that's why this is, like the, that is the purpose of what I'm going to show you here. It's not for to to reduce the discomfort of of being on video, which, by the way, everybody's uncomfortable being on video when they start. Right. The difference between the people that do it and the people that don't do it is that the people that do it just suck it up and do it anyway. So, OK. Um, cool. So let's let's get right into it. So the process, let me outline the high level process of how this works first and then i will demonstrate it for you so process uh step number one is write the script and so whenever you have a video and even if you're recording into a camera i always recommend having a script or at least a general outline because it's really easy to just go off and start rambling I mean, I have a script that I've written down. Well, not exactly a script, but a general outline for this presentation. Um, I always do that. Maybe if you're just like unnaturally talented in some way, like some way that I'm not, <laughs> then you can get away with just talking to the camera off the top of your head. But to me, it's 
almost always better to write a script, especially if you're doing something like an ad or a VSL that, you know, one, one boring sentence and somebody's already skipped your ad. So you don't want to leave that up to chance. You don't want to leave that up to, oh, you just happen to have the right thing come into your head at the right time. You really want to script that out very carefully beforehand. So step one is to write your script. Step two is to generate your voice audio, right? I'm going to show you how to do that. There are AI tools where you can just input the script and then you'll get an AI voice that will say the script. And they've gotten really good now so that they sound like almost human, like 99% of the way there. If you're, you know, if you got a good ear, you can recognize that it's AI, but it's pretty darn close. And then step three is to generate a text video, which is, I'm going to show you what that looks like. That's just a basically a blank screen video with the voice saying the words, and then the text is showing up on the screen. And then finally, you're going to want to edit the video. So that's it. That is every step of the process. And I'm going to walk you through every part here. So we'll start with our script. So let's see. I'm, I figured I'm just going to kind of do this from scratch. So anybody want to volunteer a business to, to uh, write a script for? Hey, Julian, looks like you're the only one on. Hello, yes, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm missed the start, but that's good. Um, it's quite hard to think up straight away off the top of my head. Um, but let's imagine, well, selling a course, would you, something like that, some sort of course? Sure, yeah, so let's say, what's a good course to sell? Um, well, I could just use my own course, like the, um, I have a course teaching YouTube ads, so I could use that as an okay. example. So <laughs> let's say, so I want to start with, and I, I won't, don't want to go too deep into the copywriting here just for the sake of time, but let's say I want to, uh, I need to start off with who in mind, like who do I want to hear this so maybe well, i guess also this is where you could use chat gpt just to give you a framework you like could strategy. but i really don't like chat gpt for writing persuasive copy right. at least at this point in time you absolutely could do that and if it's something like you're just kind of want of a video to get out there and you don't really care about how well it converts then yeah absolutely do it with chat yeah. gpt i'm more i'm more thinking about just like an initial draft framework kind of thing, uh, just to trigger some, you know, like a sequence uh, and maybe some ideas. But yeah, you know. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but um, I, I just write them. I, I've never used AI for that. Okay. So let's say, let's say the who is, let's say it's people that have, have tried to do a Facebook ads agency and it hasn't worked because there's too many people that are all trying to do the same thing which is very common because there's a whole bunch of courses that have that have been sold over the last few years on how to start a social media marketing agency. And for whatever reason, all of those courses are all focused on Facebook ads. And so the, it's gotten super saturated. So let's say I want to call out my people first. So let's say, have you tried... Uh, starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is offering the same thing. For some reason, it seems like everyone and their mother are all trying to run Facebook ads for businesses. And because these businesses have heard the same pitch so many times, and I like to, 
I like to capitalize stuff just to to remind me to emphasize that when I'm speaking it. Although, actually, I'm not going to be speaking it. The AI is so <laughs> this <laughs> point is mute. But anyway, that's that's kind of how I've gotten used to typing at this point. So and because these businesses have heard the same pitch so many times, they just turn off as soon as you start. And maybe I dig into the pain a little bit. So business idea that you had so much hope, expectation for, and maybe even spent a bunch of money on, totally fell flat. Well, what do you do? Clearly, you have to do something different than everyone else is doing if you want to stand, stand out. And then one easy way to stand out is to use a different and better platform, such as YouTube ads. You could run simple AI-generated video ads just like the one you're watching right now. And since it's different and companies haven't seen it before, you're much more likely to get their attention, ultimately their business. If you're interested in learning how to get clients using YouTube ads, click the button that's somewhere around this video and I will send you my free training where I show you exactly how I do just that. Click the button sign up on the next page and I'll see you inside. Okay, there we go. So that's a script. Now that's, it's not perfect. I would normally go back and edit it a little bit. I would re kind of read through it and see if it comes off as conversational and then uh, fix any any typos there. But this is, this is a pretty decent ad script. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then I'm gonna go over to this site, which is 11labs.io, which if you want a free trial, I have a link to that, which is chrisshoot.com slash 11labs. I'll put that in the chat real quick. And then I'm gonna, um, and you have to sign up for an account. It's free to start, um, like I said, and then I'm going to paste my script right in here. And then it's going to, and then I choose a voice. So it's already on Charlie. They just have a bunch of names. So you can choose. If you want to get fancy with this, you can actually model people's voices. You can model your own voice if you want. So you just give it a clip of somebody talking. And then it will kind of, it will pick up the characteristics of that person's voice and it'll model it back to you which is kind of cool. So you can say things in that person's voice. So if you want to, like you can model celebrity voices. Um, I saw somebody, I saw an ad doing that with, with like Donald Trump's voice, endorsing something, like pushing some product. And like, I, I recognized it as AI, but I was, it was good enough. Like it was a good enough voice that I bet most people that would listen to that would think that it's really Trump. So it's it, it's a little scary how the what the world is getting to. You know, it used to be that if you have something on audio, it means that the person actually said it. 
right? Or you have something on video, it means that the person actually did that thing. But now with AI, like, I don't know what the courts are going to do. Like the evidence is completely, it's going to be impossible now. They say, oh, I have this recording of this person saying this thing. And they're like, yeah, big deal. You can make that in five minutes with AI. <laughs> so anyway, back to the point, I can hit generate speech and it will give it to me in Charlie's voice here. Have you tried starting a social media marketing? Oh, and I guess I have to share sound for you to be able to hear that. No, I heard that. Oh, did you really? Okay. Agency. Only have you tried starting a social media marketing agency? Only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is offering the same thing? For some reason, it seems like everyone and their mother are all trying to run Facebook ads for businesses. And because these business So that's one of the voices, and I can I can test other voices too. Like if I want maybe I want a female voice and I say, okay, I want Alice. I'll try, I'll generate the speech again. We'll take a moment here. Have you tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is offering the same thing? And there's various different accents and stuff too. And then you can also, there are voice settings. So you can choose like the more variables. So if I, let's say I go kind of extreme on, or okay, I won't go that extreme. Let's try more variable and see what that sounds like now. Have you tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is offering the same thing? For some reason, it seems like everyone and their mother. I'm not totally sure what that does, but I think what it is is like higher variations in pitch and speed, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, so you can mess around with that to find a voice that sounds good. You definitely want to listen to the whole thing and make sure that there's nothing that sounds weird or typos or sometimes, you know, you'll write out a number and it won't say the number right or something. And so you have to write out the number like in text uh, rather than the digits. Anyway, so let's say that that's a good one. I like this one. So I'm going to click this download button. I'll put it in my downloads and call it, yeah, 11 labs, whatever. Okay, so that's that. So now we've got, where are we in the, no, that's not it. Yeah, that is it, in the process. Okay, so we wrote our script, we generated our voice audio. Now it's time to generate our text video. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use a, a tool called Descript which is like the coolest video editor ever. I love this program. I only found it a couple of months ago. And I'm going to go create a new project, new video project. And I've got a, I've got a link for that too, which again, you get free trial. I'm going to add a file which is the thing that I just created, the audio file. And we'll take a second here and transcribe. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to write out the text of what the audio is saying, which is pretty cool. One of the features I really like about this software is that I can edit the text by edit, or I can edit the video rather just by editing the text. So I can go into it, You'll it's still transcribing, but it'll show text in just a moment. And so like if I delete a couple of words out of the text, then it will delete that part of the video. So in my opinion, that's a lot easier than clipping the video like you do in a just a continuous clip the the way that a normal video editor works okay cool so we got our script here and i'm going to add add captions so we can create a text video so we got a black background we could change that if we wanted to we could i mean make it whatever color we want. Well, let's say we'll make it a red background. It's kind of ugly, but you know, just to show. And then I want to put 
captions and maybe I'll put it up in the middle here and maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. Now 100 is good. And then if I click on play, we can see what this looks Have you tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else... Yeah, that, that red is ugly. It's annoying me. <laughs> I'm going to put it back to black. It looks a lot better to me. Reason, it seems like every... And by the way, this, like, you can type in a script and have AI voice right within Descript. You don't need 11 Labs to do it. It's just that Descript is not as good at it. Like the 11 Labs voice sounds a lot more natural to me. And then, so the last thing I really want to do is, um, I, I mean, I've pretty much got it here. The last thing I want to do is just edit it. So I'm going to... I'm going to make sure that the transcription worked properly. And so I like to watch the video here and make sure that all the words are correct. So it, it usually it makes a couple of mistakes. It's pretty accurate, but usually it makes a couple of mistakes, but they're easy to correct. Have you tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is offering the same thing? For some reason, it seems like everyone and their mother are all trying to run Facebook ads for businesses. And because these businesses have heard the same pitch so many times, they just turn off as soon as you start. So the... I like how she emphasized so many times. Which, actually, I think I did have that in my script, didn't I? Let me... Yeah, yeah, I had that in my script. Okay. Cool. So the AI is actually noticing if you put it in all caps, then it does emphasize it. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. Cool. The business idea that you had so much hope and expectation for, and maybe even spent a bunch of money on, totally fell flat. Well, what do you do? So that, like, spent a bunch of money on, totally fell flat. That's kind of, kind of a, a little problem with the enunciation, um, which is in Eleven Labs. You might want to. You could put a comma in there, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing. So I'd have to go back and do that, which I, I won't do that now. But um, yeah, like a comma or like a, a semicolon or a, a dash or something, that would probably do it. Totally fell flat. Well, what do you do? Clearly, you have to do something different than everyone else is doing if you want to stand out. One easy way to stand out is to use a different and better platform, such as YouTube ads. You could run simple AI-generated video ads, just like the one you're watching right now. And since it's different, and companies haven't seen it before, you're much more likely to get their attention, and ultimately, their business. If you're interested in learning how to get clients using YouTube ads, Click the button that's somewhere around this video and I'll send you my free training where I show you exactly how I do just that. Click the button, sign up on the next page, and I'll see you inside. Well, this is one of those very rare occurrences where it didn't make any mistakes at all in the transcribing. So, I, but I, just to show you, so let's say I want to correct something. Maybe, maybe it's business ideas, not just business idea, right? So then I'll just, oh, I should explain while I'm doing it. Highlight the section that I want to correct, click, click on correct, and then I can change this however I want. So I just put an S on the end, hit correct. And now when I, when I play it, it'll show the whole, it'll show the new text rather than the old. Text. So the business idea that you had so much hope and expectation for and of course, it doesn't correct the voice because the voice came from a separate file. Um, but it's uh, the, you want to make sure that the voice is right before you import it into this, into Descript. And then in Descript, we're just going to make sure that the text is correct, that it matches the voice. And then last thing that I like to do if this is a video ad is I put a end screen. So after the text is done, I just have a screen that says, click the link to get the free training, and it lasts like 20 seconds. That way, people are kind of 
they're kind of forced to make a decision. It's like you either skip the ad or you click the link, but you don't just wait for the ad to, to go away. Right. So you, because people probably don't want to sit there and wait for 20 seconds looking at the same thing. So that's it. That's took me, I mean, like what, 20 minutes. And I was explaining as I went and we got an ad, right. And then, you know, you, go to hit publish, you publish and download, and that will download the video. And you've got a pretty respectable YouTube ad in very, very little time. So that is pretty much it for today. That was actually quicker than I was expecting, especially given that I, I wrote out the script from nothing. So anybody got any questions on that? Yeah, I'm just wondering if, 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 if rather than put them in the chat, I'll just speak it out. Um, uh, with no visuals, do you still have as much success with these ads as you might with a real human being talking? Good you know, question. I, I just ran my first one a couple of days ago, and I don't, I don't really have a lot of results yet, but it seems like it's working. I did, in fact, I did a split test. I ran the same ad like this as a just a text ad versus me speaking with the captions below it, like a, a recording of me speaking, exactly the same script. And I want to test the results because I'm I'm curious how well they work compared to each other. Now, what I do know is that they're both working, like they're both getting me leads but I haven't ran it long enough to figure out which one's working better than the other one. Hmm. So that's, that's a good question. You yeah. could absolutely add visuals to this if you want. So there's, there's kind of two ways to do that. There's, well, the, the simplest way is you can just add pictures. You can add like little graphics. You can put like emojis if you want. And then and you can just stick those over top over top of the video and any any video editor you can do that the second way is stock video so that's video that you can sometimes it's free sometimes you have to buy it like let me show you uh ice it's iStock i think so this is a site where i can say like um Let's say frustrated person on a computer. And so I'm trying to trying to show somebody that's trying to start their social media marketing agency and they're frustrated because it's not working. And so I can go through this and find somebody that's look, okay, <laughs> this guy looks yeah. good. Yeah. Actually, in the script, you get free stock video. So oh, you do you really? In, yeah. So oh, that's awesome. You, if you go to the top little navigation on the, the left hand one of the there's a little video uh, sorry not the top the top navigation bar in the middle yeah that oh, one this there one. media and then you click videos that that opens up a whole library oh no that's that's awesome okay let's see if i can find a frustrated person on a computer yeah yeah, yeah. lots of them okay um, Some, yeah, that's right. Let's try this one. So, yeah. Have you tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the world is off? That's cool. Now, yeah. what you've got yeah. is if you go to the bottom left, on the, you show the timeline. I, I've also used this program. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Just, you, I'm just you've just done it, you right? Know, you, so you can change the it. like the duration. Uh, yeah, and you can you can also switch, put the B roll on top of or below. Yeah, you can also it's like, like acting as a normal editor just if you want to. Sometimes. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's Have you cool. tried starting a social media marketing agency only to find that nobody wanted to listen to you because everyone else in the yeah, so that's one way to give it a visual element. And then you can, I mean, if you want to get fancy with this, you can change to like another stock footage after a couple of seconds. Um, 
So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more that you can do with this. And there's even like you can, I've seen you can, there's a software where you can find a video of a person, like you can find a picture of this, of a video of this lady, and then create a AI generated face in another program and then put the AI generated face on the video. So now you have like a, a new person that doesn't actually exist, but the it, like it goes from an AI generated picture to a video where the like the face is moving. <laughs> actually, let me show you real quick. I did that. I was just messing around with this. I have, I'm not like good at this by any means, but I was messing around with it and I found, let me see. I can't find it doesn't show the original, but this is like a generic video I found of a guy announcing something and I put my own face over it. And it's not perfect, but I, I think it looks fairly convincing like that looks like almost like a real person to me. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, there's there's a lot that you can do with this. I was kind of showing you like the basics and what you can get done quick. But yeah, I mean, if you want to add B-roll, if you want to add all sorts of fake stuff, if you want to if you want to make a video of a celebrity saying something that they didn't actually say in real life, well, now you can do that. Like pretty much pretty much everything's possible. Maybe next time you could just tell us your results from the from your split test. Yeah, yeah, absolutely I can do that.